What's up guys, welcome back to another Wednesday. This week I'm gonna be taking you through my rehabilitation exercises, what I'm doing for recovery, and show you where I'm at. It's not very good. Every time I have a spare moment, I just grab my lacrosse ball or my TheraBand or even just my thumbs and I'm just doing a little bit of massage, a little bit of mobility, trying to get the ankle wiggling, moving, really just making sure that it has range of motion. There's a bunch of exercises that I've been given to do daily by my physio. I aim to do them twice a day. The first one is knee to wall. Knee to wall is really about getting my heel flat on the ground and increasing the range of motion that my knee has over my toe. I'm aiming right now to get about six centimeters, but optimal is eight to 12 for most athletes. I usually do three sets of 20 each side when I'm applying myself. The next exercise is alphabets. I've called it alphabets because you're tracing the alphabet with the floating foot, but it's actually trying to stabilize the foot that has the TheraBand on it. So as you're standing on one foot, you're feeling the weight pull you to one side. I started with the flat foot on the ground, and now I've raised myself to an elevated position. I do have better socks, I swear. I usually do three sets each side per session. The next exercise is calf raises, which is a pretty mundane exercise. I will lean forwards into an athletic runner position, raising one leg in front to activate the core. If I'm too sore from training or anything, I will tend to do them two foot until I can get back to one foot. But it's still, as you can see, quite weak in that range of motion. Ah! Target hops are a very enjoyable exercise comparatively to the other ones, but they're also the most strenuous. Focusing on hopping in one spot consistently, 10 times each foot to the other side, trying to alternate 10 times on each side, making up 100 hops. As you can see today, my ankle isn't giving me love and they're a little bit more difficult to do on the right side, but normally I've been able to get through two tracks for about eight minutes. Ah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yoga sit or child's pose or I'm not sure what it's exactly called but this exercise is the least fun of them all. It's the most painful and most static. Spending as much time as I possibly can in the forward flexion position and then I'm curling my toes under, sitting my full weight back onto the legs for as long as I can and alternating until either I feel progress for three minutes or they get too painful. Sometimes they're just a little bit too tender. Once I've done those sets and I'm doing a bit more of an active workout, I'll start with some lunges and then I'll work my way up to lunges with a calf raise position, holding nice and strong. Working with my own body weight, I will do an inchworm, which is crawling back and forward, and that really helps me mobilize my shoulders and my wrists and making sure that the whole body's just moving and feeling comfortable holding my weight. It's also a great hamstring stretch. And then I will do Bulgarian split squats to really get the stability going in the hip flexor and as I'm going down on each leg, making sure that the ankle's working properly, stabilizing those, those positions. Other than that, I also integrate a bunch of stable exercises, super regular stuff, just to keep my body moving and strong where it needs to be. Especially because I can't jump, I have the extra energy to burn somewhere. Let's <laughs> the one. Yeah, yeah, back, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quadrupedal training. <laughs> well, it's really important to have a good training partner, someone to push your level. I've also been working on handstands. I've had pretty bad wrist mobility since the China fail in 2017. Yeah, that long getting back. Now I can hold my weight comfortably in the handstand position and I'm progressing to walking on my hands again so that way I can use one hand. I do get kind of tight in my shoulders and my wrists when I do a heavy session of them, but I'm still have the dream of one day doing you know, from straddle sitting all the way up, which is not happening right now. <laughs> Occasionally I'll do some more explosive lifts or some squats or some hopping stuff with more weight, but it's such a low priority for me right now while I'm at the gym, it's really about getting the ankle to get a spark back. Speaking of the ankle, I have been working hard for the last month with my physio, getting things to a really good position in preparation for the Red Bull slash Varane shoot that I've had here in Thailand. The shoot was two days and we had a lot of action pushed into that little window. Unfortunately, by a day and a half, my ankle just couldn't take the load anymore and it gave out. I haven't been able to really recover or get to full level of jumps yet and that's why you're seeing some weakness even in this workout now. It's getting to the stage where it's not clicking over into overdrive, it's not getting back and when I get home I will be getting MRI scans. I'll keep you guys updated on what, how that unfolds and what is going to be needed in the future but I really don't know. So click subscribe, find out with me, you know what a call to action is so do that and say hi to your mum for me.